I'm looking for bugs. Please don't land on me, please. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? I'm Serena from thriftdiving.com and here we are working on a really cool project that I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I just haven't had time. We are gonna make this DIY garage door screen. <laughs> door screen. <laughs> flies around me I'm always like this I'm flinching and here in Maryland we have stink bugs we have mosquitoes we have the day biting mosquitoes and uh, you know what that's not really safe when you're working with power tools and when you just want a little bit of space in your garage bug free space and we're gonna turn this big piece of fiberglass screening with some other materials into a DIY garage door screen stick with me because we're gonna do this like now these bugs need to go for this project, you will need to get a roll of fiberglass screen. Now check Amazon because they have much smaller rolls for cheaper. And I use Velcro brand fasteners. You can use pretty much any kind of fastener from Velcro brand. I use the Extreme Outdoor just because it's in a garage and I didn't want any moisture to make it not work. Zippers, I used a large zipper, but you can also use some of the Velcro brand fasteners to keep it closed. And I wanted my screen to have a more finished look at the bottom, so I used some of this blanket tape for the bottom of it. And Simple Green, you need something to clean in order to attach the screen to your garage, and of course you need a tape measure. So this is where the garage door screen was going to be attached. So if you notice, I've got a little bit of space all along the top, the sides. Now this isn't something that works when the door is closed, so it's gotta be open. Make sure you've got your measuring tape because you need to take measurements. So I've measured the opening and we've got eight and a half feet wide and seven feet tall. So we have to make sure that we put enough on the seam allowances so that we can account for the seams and also for the Velcro fastener. So let's clean this so we can get this thing done because I do not want any more bugs flying around me today. <laughs> Okay, so if you remember, we need this to be seven feet, right? But we also need seam allowances. So we're gonna put an extra inch at the top and an extra inch at the bottom. So we're gonna cut this 72, no, not 72, seven feet, two inches, whatever that calculates out to be in terms of inches. Now the width is actually four feet wide. Now remember, we need eight and a half plus seam allowances. So, you know, if we need to cut an extra strip, we can. If it doesn't work out, I'm gonna be P.O.'d. I think it'll work out though. <laughs> So I have the one piece here that I cut and the other piece, and I've got my long zipper. Let me jump in here real quick and tell you that you can just use Velcro brand fasteners to create this project. Just make sure you get one that says 10 feet by one inch, and you can use that all around the edges of your screen so that you don't have to use anything to sew. And instead of a zipper, you can use Velcro that has that sticky back to keep it closed. Okay, let's get back to the tutorial. This is one of those long like sleeping bag zippers that has a reverse side because I want to be able to get in the garage and out of the garage using the same, you know, the same zipper. So make sure the zipper that you get is double sided. There will be a link in the description for where you can buy that. But what we're going to do is just pull this side over and fold it under about half an inch like that. And then we're going to pin it to the zipper. And we're gonna do that all the way along the length of the screen. So once it's all pinned, this is what it should look like. Now, remember, you do not have to sew this in, but if you are sewing, instead of using a Velcro brand fastener, be sure that you've got enough clearance space between the edge of that screen and the teeth of the zipper. You do not want that screen to get caught in the zipper when you are opening and closing. So when I was done, it looked pretty good, but then I noticed on the other side, there was a little flap where the zipper was kind of hanging loose and I didn't want that. So in order to fix it, I zipped it back up and then right where you see these dotted red lines, I put another line of stitching and that helped to secure the zipper really good. Now I'd noticed it was a few inches too short. So you can see there where the red arrow was, I added another three inches to the side just to make this fit across my 
garage. And then I added a little bit of that blanket tape to the bottom to finish it off and to wrap the edges in. Again, you do not have to do this. It's just because I sometimes can be a perfectionist and I want it to look as good as possible. I added some stitches there, just one line of stitching to attach that blanket bias to the end. And then it was time to add the tape. Now the Velcro brand fastener tape, if you remember, it has a sticky back. So I went ahead and attached it with the sticky part, but I added two additional lines of stitching. And the reason why is because I didn't want it to come off at any point. So the zipper looks really, really good. It's in there nice and securely fastened. I've got two lines of stitching here. It's a double-sided zipper. So if you are on the inside or the outside of the garage, you should be able to open it either side. I had to add a little bit of extra, you know, maybe about three inches with the seam allowance here to the side. And it wasn't until the end of this project that I snipped the zipper. If you recall, the zipper was long, maybe about eight and a half feet. So I used my tin snippers and just cut that off. And because we have the Velcro brand fastener on the back, which is the top, this is how I'm gonna secure it to the top of the garage, that sort of becomes the new stopper. So it worked really well and it looked good and clean. Once the screen was completed, I took the other part of the Velcro brand fastener and attached it along the perimeter of my garage. Final test. Ooh, all right, this is the corner. So typically at this point in my videos, I usually speed things up so that they don't take so long. But you know what? You have to see for yourself in real time how easy it is to put this up. I absolutely love it. So what I did was I started from one corner and I just lined up the corners and started pushing it against the Velcro brand tape. And honestly, it was so easy. Now I'm tall, I'm 5'10", and my arms are a little long. So that allows me the ability to put it up there. If you are on the shorter side, you might need a chair or a stool, but it's really, really simple. And you can see here that I'm like really excited. It was just a great feeling to see that it all came together. I did it, I did it. Ah! Okay, now let's see if we can actually open this thing. Here we go. <laughs> I freaking love it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I can open it that way. And I can close it that way too. <gasps> no bugs are coming in this garage. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can remove it. So clearly I was super excited and that day I was jumping up and down and so excited my husband's like, look, you need to just bring it down a notch. But I was excited because it actually turned out. Anyway, I wanted to show you here in real time how easy it is to remove. I did notice that some of the Velcro brand fastener that was attached to the garage was peeling a little bit at the corner. So you might wanna just take a stapler and secure that. But I wanted to show you in real time, guys, how easy it is to remove this and to fold it up. And you know, you're probably wondering, what do you do with it when you're not using it? Well, because it folds up so nicely, just set it aside and when you're ready to use it, there you go. You just can just pull it out and pull your garage up. So that's it guys, it's a wrap. We are done this project and I just have to say, well done Serena. Cause you know what? I saved thousands of dollars. I almost paid someone to professionally install one, but guess what? We have a garage door screen. <laughs> and what's really cool is that the kids, like if you wanna go in and out, the kids can go in and out. If there is a tear, you can easily get a, a screen repair kit and repair it and you still have your screen. I love it. It's a wrap. So if you like this project, give it a thumbs up, go back to my blog, get all of the materials and all the links for that. And I'll see you next project. And be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so that you can get notified when there's a new awesome project like this. I'll see you next time. <laughs> no bugs can get in my garage. No bugs can get in my garage. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> bye bye stink bugs.